The NCAA tournament bubble is starting to get serious. With just a few weeks left in the regular season, it's starting to turn into crunch time. Let's take a look at two teams that are currently in. First up is Northern Iowa. The Panthers hail from the Missouri Valley Conference, which means that being in a mid-major league, there's not a lot of room for error. But a blind resume test will tell you that this is a turning team right now. UNI has a top 40 net score, and then this is a bubble team that really, if you think about it, Ben Jacobson's squad, they just have one quality win. They need to get more. Next up is Rutgers. This is a team that is barely in the field right now, and they have a top 35 net score, a top 75 non-conference strength of schedule. These are really nice profile things as far as eye candy goes for the committee. And then you have pretty decent quadrant one victories. The problem here is that the Big Ten, there's just a lot of bubble teams. You got 11 teams in fit really could come from the Big Ten, so they could all kind of cannibalize each other when you're thinking about the bubble line. And Rutgers could fall to the wrong side of the bubble. Now let's take a look at two teams that are currently out of the field. First up is Cincinnati. This is a team that just fell out of the projected field of 68. And there's a lot to like on this profile. There's a top 25 non-conference strength of schedule. But when you're thinking about it, you've got four quadrant three losses and then a net score that's in the 50s. Really not that great. Then you factor in that in the AAC, there really isn't a lot of opportunity to bolster the credentials and the overall portfolio. This team has to start getting W's and finish out the season strong if they want to stay in contention to dance. And then another team that's currently on the wrong side of the bubble is Mississippi State. The Bulldogs have a top 50 net score, but they're really lacking when it comes to top 50 wins and quadrant one victories. They only have two right now. It's one thing if you're mid-major, but this is a team playing in the SEC. Mississippi State beat another SEC bubble team and Arkansas twice. And then Florida, also a bubble team, they beat them as well. So that's always a plus when the credentials are thin. 